Guys, this game is my game against, um, this is my game against, uh, uh, which, which sister was it? This was, uh, this was, this was against, not Anna. It was, um, it was, it was her sister. Why well, can't I remember her name? It was, it was her, her sister. No, no, no. This was not Anna Muzichuk. This was, um, what's it, was it Maria? Maria Muzichuk in Gibraltar 20... 17 or it was 17 or 18 but this is my game against um this is my game against uh, maria muzichuk i don't remember what year it was i played maria muzichuk in gibraltar 2016 so then this is the correct game though right this is music i think it was i think the game was something like takes b4 knight b5 takes ed5 it was something there was some funky knight sack in the middle of the board or no i think i went 90 i went 95 takes takes that's what it was yes yes that's how the game went Okay, it goes knight a4. Yeah, now he runs into trouble because now I get a great bash in the, the center of the board. Okay, I think I'm just gonna I can castle here. I also have knight g3. I also have bishop a6 to try to remove the remove the bishop. I think this is actually a very logical move because now my now my pony on e4 is a really nice nicely posted knight. His knight is on the rim as well, so it can't jump back, and so this knight on a4 is very sketchy here. I think I will just go like Queen E7 and take maybe. Oh, I also had Knight F6. Why don't I go Knight F6? He had a sack, but now he's just losing. Oh. Okay, he goes Knight F3. Yeah, and this is actually really quite bad for White now. Because after Bishop B5, his Knight on the rim is dim. Um, because it has no squares really. Like I, I cover everything. My knight on e4 is just awesome. It's a golden knight. Uh, let's go here in knight e4. Really, really beautiful position. But I like knight e2 by Bartosz trying to get rid of it. Very, very nice move. So, yeah. Actually, you know, to be fair, this is a tough one. Because if you, if you don't know the sack, it's very easy to go wrong. But but I think, I, th I mean, after knight d5 takes takes, it's just absolutely crushing for white. Like, crushing for white. Um, will we go on Discord? Absolutely. If Bartosz wants to go on Discord, I, I definitely will. Yeah. Because I remember that game. It's like once I sacked, I mean, Maria just, I mean, she, she lost very quickly after that. Because it's just so bad. It's like plus, it's like just plus four or plus five, I think. Okay, I have G5 here. I can also take, but I think G, mm, I'll go G5. I don't know if it's right. Okay, so I can trade the knights. I can also just castle, I guess, and play rookie eight. Again, this knight is so off sides. Even if he gets in, I just ignore it. And the knight has no jumps. It's just, it's, it's very dead on the rim. This knight is just no good on a4. That's why you, do, that's why you don't want, um, you don't want knights on the rim because they can become very bad very quickly because it's, it's just, it's off on the side of the board and it's not doing anything. Okay, I think I'm gonna go here maybe. I do have to be careful not to allow some funky queen h2, but my bishop covers a square, so it should be fine. I just want to go like here in rook h8, maybe. How many games have I lost? I think I've. Levy should have beaten me. He messed up a winning. He messed up. Bartosz is asking you to not be as good as I am. <laughs> Well, trust me. I think for I think uh, I, I feel that way when I play Magnus and also when I play computers. Computers especially because it's just like you're just like you're waiting for a wrong move and the computers play perfect moves. Let's take with a knight here. Watching this match on YouTube, you finish with an hour left on your clock. Yeah, we could actually we could actually play some of those video re if the, if um uh. One second. I can play King G7 here, maybe. I can play King G7. Okay. Um, I think King G7 is fine. I just take again. The knight is on the rim. It's very, very dim. It's got no jumps. The pawn holds us all the squares. Knight's not going anywhere in this position. 
Yeah, you know, you know what I would say? The style of these games, Pakleza would have absolutely crushed me in two of these games. Pakleza would have crushed me in this one. And also the um, that that second one, I think, where I... Yeah, the second one. He might have also won the first one. But pa Pakleza definitely would have won the second game and this game. Because he, he's a very aggressive player and he likes to sacrifice material. So he would have won both of those games. I'm pretty sure. Why don't you play bots instead of humans to get better? Because when you play a bot and lose to the bot, the bot can't tell you what you did wrong. It can't explain it in a, in a human way. It can only explain it in a numerical way. The night on the rim is very, very dim. Yes, the night on B6 is very dim. Very, very dim. Also, his bishop on E1 is very dim, too. Like, it's just, there, there just isn't much that white can do here. It's just, bishop is bad. It's it's completely dominated by this knight, and this pawn covers it. The, there's nothing you can do here, either. It's just very, very rough. And now I think I'm going to even just, I'm going to get fancy and, and go after his queen, maybe, now, as well. Sheesh, that was bad. So it was h6, rook g1, e5, um, bishop d2, e4, knight h4, g6, h3, a6, okay. Um, castles, b5, c5, here, here, here. Right, and now, okay, so f3, a5. So so now, now this is the position we have in the game, right? Okay. So takes, yeah, so, so okay, so the first thing you were asking is why not, why not something like this? Um, and the reason this is so bad is there, I think I can move the knight back, but also I have knight d6. I was thinking about d6, takes, takes, yeah, and b7. Yeah, but now I think after e4, it's very, very bad. Like if I castle, I think you just go, you go e5 and you threaten e6 and you have like bishop d3 and rook f1 and the attack is very, very fast. And now the extra pawn is the extra pawn because I see d6 is untouchable, mm -hmm. untouchable. Uh, those do two bishops with, might be right. Okay, you're you right. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's it's really really bad, and um, and so yeah, so so b4 is a move to try to remove the knight because after this, this knight is really good. Your knight's under attack, and your knight also on a4 is very bad here. This knight is this knight yeah, has nowhere to I, go. I was talking to my chat that I have two bad bishops. The one is on a4, and the second one is on h4, and both are like the half of the piece. I had the, on the half of the knight, you know, because it can it can go to the left side, for example, but this one from the a4. So, well, but what about the, this uh, knight takes d5 uh, after b4? Okay. Yes, knight takes there, d5. Yes. Yes, this one. So okay, if you take with the knight, I mean, you, you do you do this one, then I think I I mean I think just d6 is winning. Okay, and you have an active piece. This yeah, is, to be honest, season. both bishops don't play. Oh my god, totally didn't see this. Yeah, so I'm like, I mean, okay, I can still try, but still something like queen, I don't know, queen a4 even, and c6 or bishop b5. I mean, it's it's so bad here. These pawns are just very, very good. Wow. <laughs> and that's how it went in your position, in your game? Yeah, I think the game went pawn takes, pawn takes, pawn, and I think bishop g3 was played. Because if you castle again, it's the same problem. I mean, I can play... I think I can do like d6 and I maybe even just sack here. I yes, mean, it's, okay. it's just so bad. Like king here and like bishop d3 and just takes and rook f1. I mean, this is just. You, you have all these pieces that are terrible. So it's, I mean, it's just very, very bad. Okay. And I think the game was, game was uh, not castle. I think it was bishop g3. I went back. Which I think also maybe I can already sack here, but I I, I go back, castles, and now uh, rook to g1, queen to c7, and now bishop c4. And uh, like I always have d6, but the now next I move was d6. So, yes, I see, I see, I see. Now she probably played the uh, king g7, right? Uh, she played bishop a6. I mean, king g7 is a better move, but it's still I I think g5 is just winning. Because takes, knight takes, and now it's, it's another problem. Now you have this problem with f7 with well. and d6. Wow. And the rook from g1 goes to the game again because uh, rooks mm -hmm. might be controlling g6, right? The g, -g yep. lane. 
yeah, yeah once you take the pawn, pawn which guard this pawn which guards yeah it's just it's completely over um but it's like it's just i mean you play you play for initiative you play for very if you try to attack right away it's like i mean she she okay. played bishop a6 and then i mean after after d6 uh i played this she took and then i took here takes and then knight g5 knight f6 and then this one it's very very clean Okay, now the game is over, right? Yeah, yeah this was the this was, she, she okay. resigned here in this game. Yeah. Um, I feel like those odds games uh, are like you know the position, yes. You you play this before maybe as white, not as the black, mm -hmm. not yes. not as the black. But the point is that you spent some time, maybe even those ten years ago, but you have the point, you feel the whole idea, and you might see some uh, tactics uh, before those positions happened, right? Um, and I feel like the, my first impression was like, um, okay, let's 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 see. I I, I felt like those positions were, uh, were much better, but I guess after five moves, every position was equal. I just miss, uh, That's missed probably the true, point. Actually, yes. Sure. Yes, pro probably because it's so tactical. It's like if it's like right away. If you make one mistake, I'm I'm able to somehow somehow just uh, equalize. This is true yeah yeah i mean you are much better and i see now 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 i saw your power yeah. because uh i was certainly sure that my position is better mm -hmm. according to the computer to the stockfish for an example but if i miss the point i will lose this uh, exactly. you know some yes and that that was the critical yes after 10 moves i felt like okay the position again is equal and in some at some point in some games i felt like you get the better position after five moves one example it was wow how bad uh, could uh, how, how bad i am right when when uh, for an example those position when i played bishop uh, f6 mm -hmm. after the move i saw okay now i'm losing and i saw this what you played that completely i, I had completely losing position in my opinion because i went uh less the pawn but in my opinion the position was awful of course yeah, but I mean, I think though it's uh, you know as they say as they say in Polish, I think I'll mispronounce, but what's it, Podro Pochwich, I think something like this, Podro po Pochwich or something like this. But anyway, I mean Podro Pochwich, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I understood the point. Yeah, you're right, Podro Pochwich, because but, mm, but, but you know, you know what's funny century. actually. I, I wanted to say one thing. You know what's funny though? You're, you're saying how if you didn't have the idea immediately, um, you know, I would equalize. But but the thing is, if there's someone who's like, you know, about 2,200 rating, if they don't play that style, a very tactical, very aggressive, then um, then like, and it's some kind of end game or it's a very simple positional game, a grandmaster will never blunder. Whereas in something that's uh, like very tactical, like these games were, a grandmaster can make a blunder, which is how uh, someone who's like 2,200 has a chance to beat a grandmaster in a game. I tried, I tried to find something, but uh, overall I, I lose it every game, so <laughs> maybe it doesn't well, work you, like you that. You did play well for periods, periods of time, so it was pretty yeah, good. But for sure it was for me uh, really like, good fun, because it's, you know, when I had the chance to face-to-face -face Godmaster, especially like from the 10th of the world, even top 1 mm -hmm. in Blitz writing, it's really important for me to check my skills. And now I see that the critical moments, like the mid game, is my weak side. I see because I remember when we were playing uh, bullet games, and I was like, okay, after opening, I don't have that bad position. Yes. Maybe it was equal, a slightly better for you, but not losing. Right. Not every position was losing, but the, those those games show me that how many points, how many uh, some you know strategies I missed, mm -hmm. and that's. Yes, in the middle. Yeah, of for yeah. sure. It was it was something uh, edu 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 mm -hmm. educative. I mean, something like this. I wanted yes. to say. Okay. Yeah. No, but I. I mean, yes. I think if you work on the middle, because because everyone thinks the opening is the most important part, and it does matter. But the middle part really yeah. makes a difference as well. So, um, but but you know, it shows the real skill. Hmm? I think the mid game uh, shows. Mid game skills, show, mid game skill shows the real uh, strength. Yeah, the, like of the, the real, the real skills of the players. Yes, no, I, I think this, this is definitely true.